If I've got two ISOBUS implements displaying on two separate uh, universal terminals, so they're two, two separate machines, so two separate job computers, and uh, I want to be doing variable rate on, uh, on both of them, is uh, we, can, we can have a look at how that's, uh, that's set up. So at the moment on the screen here is I got, uh, I got two universal terminals. So I got uh, one displaying a, a fertilizer spreader and then another one uh, will be displaying a, a drill. So these are running off two, uh, two simulators. So I can, uh, I can display there, I could chop and change which one is, is, being, uh, is being shown. And uh, on here, then, if I just uh, open up my uh, my uh, my guidance screen here, here we can see we've got the two different uh, two different implement bars for these uh, for these two uh, two particular uh, machines there. So I want to be able to send a variable rate map to uh, to my sprayer in this example and my fertilizer spreader here. And so what we need to do is first of all is import our uh, our prescription maps. If I come into uh, into system setup across then to this uh, data transfer one here we can see i've got the uh, got my usb stick um, in and so i can bring across my uh, a particular uh, a task uh, in here and send that to, to the uh, to the tractor um, in this example here is what i've had to do is create a, a shape file as uh, as well um, on here if i was using something like uh, like gatekeeper is in Gatekeeper then is, is you could have two different uh, uh, two different prescription maps both contained within the uh, within the same uh, task folder uh, task file sorry so like say in the ISO XML file but uh, what I had to create the files that I could only do uh, an individual map so I'm bringing another one in as a as a shape file so once those uh, once those are loaded on if I come to uh, come to my task I can see the uh, the XML file. That I've uh, that I've brought in. Um, if I uh, come across here, we can see the uh, we can see the variable rate uh, variable rate map there. And then if I come to uh, come across to uh, the uh, the implement, as I can uh, see, I've got my fertilizer spreader and I've got my uh, my sprayer um, here. Then because it, this map is in uh, in kgs a hectare, it's naturally gone to the uh, to the fertilizer spreader because obviously the sprayer then would be in uh, in liters. Um, there. Here it says uh, kgs a hectare, but because this is a shape file, there's no actual units there. So that's why I can select the uh, the shape file and uh, and assign that then to my uh, to my sprayers. And I've now got two different uh, two different maps for the, uh, the two uh, isobus uh, isobus implements. Um, there is if I come out now, and then I can open up. One of the uh, one of the maps uh, map tiles here. So now I can I can look to start to display my uh, my variable rate maps. If I come across to uh, to the settings, come across to uh, um, come across to my uh, my actual uh, uh, map layers, and like I guess I say, well on the on this particular screen, then I want to see uh, for the uh, for the sprayer. So you can see the map for the for the sprayer. So if I come out of uh, come out of there and then touch on this other screen here is I can then bring in the uh, the map layer then for my uh, for my fertilizer spreader and so then is, is if I come back out there we can see now we're sat in two different uh, two different rate zones uh, for uh, for there so if I then start the uh, start the task and uh, and then start driving is we'll see the uh, see the rates coming up uh, well, the rates will then be sent through to the uh, to our two different uh, uh, job computers for the two different implements.